get guidance today on how to develop plans for possibly reopening in the fall. And with this uncertainty surrounding the school year, teachers do still have to plan their coursework. Right now they have to prepare for whatever decision is made. And new this morning, one local teacher is taking a look back at the past few months to help her look forward to the coming school year. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Rebecca Thornburg speaks with this first grade teacher who tells us how she's getting ready for both in-person or distance learning. These letters are called vowels. Can you say vowels? Vowels. Moving her lessons to YouTube. In the last few months, first grade teacher Haley Glynn says she wanted to make sure resources were available for her students and parents. I just thought that it was a very overwhelming time for everyone. A-E-I-O-U. Now that it's summertime, Miss Glynn has reflected on the past few months and is taking what she learned for this upcoming uncertain school year. I don't know that any teacher after this experience will ever go back to exactly how they were teaching before. She says she has learned so much about the importance of relationship building with the parents and communicating more with them and adding more tech friendly ah. activities to her classroom. Swarm. I will definitely take the importance of parents having access to their child's curriculum. So we really did a lot with like our web pages and with um, online communication. Miss Glynn is continuing to prepare for a virtual or in-person classroom in the fall. She says she hopes to see her students soon. Every single day I miss them. They brighten your day, you know what I mean? Miss Glynn says she will continue to make her YouTube videos and she even wrote a book you can buy on Amazon when Verona the Corona came to town. Rebecca Thornburg, 7 Eyewitness News. Rebecca, thank you. Now, 